another tool I want to show you which is liquify related but it affects the overall area versus a certain portion that you decide to use is the warp tool before we can use the warp tool we have to change this background layer since it's locked as a background layer it cannot be adjusted uh, with the warp tool if you double click on that background layer in your layers palette that'll you can bring up a new layer icon and you can just le leave it named layer 0 if you like or change it to whatever name you like click OK and all of a sudden this layer becomes a normal layer and it gets unlocked now let's go up to the edit menu and transform and inside of here you have something called warp and basically that creates a nine, a nine rectangle or square grid like this that you can drag around to uh, warp the image and um, it's, it, it is quite handy t of a tool because w as you know with the liquify tool your brush size can only be 600 pixels wide and if your image is large or if you want to affect an overall a large amount of your image it becomes very difficult to do accurately and nicely with the liquify tool so in those instances you can use the warp tool to a better uh, with a better quicker result let's go s let's ex escape out of this a little bit and you can also use the selection tool just a rectangular selection here to select a portion that you want to be able to warp and you can use this strategically to make your squares or rectangular smaller so you have more precise control and you can do that to you know skinny up somebody's body or whatnot. So I want to do this on the face. So let's go ahead and transform and warp. And let's say you want to make this person have a little bit of a rounder face with not so much of a pronounced chin. You can do that and you can do that with the affecting the overall image. And this way it kind of stretches that a little bit. So let me just kind of do this. And you click enter. It takes a few seconds and basically this is your result so let's move original and after warp so it makes the face smaller but basically that's how it's used and you can use that on the body and other portions one thing that I want to mention is if you zoom in you may notice that you now have uh, a line on the edge of that selection you made when you are warping and it's the result of those pixels being shifted or warped to another area and uh, creating an empty area and from what you can do is you can go right back use your history brush or the history uh, in your history tool put your history brush pointer to somewhere in front before you did the warp and now using your history brush at 100 percent opacity you can paint away this line and get rid of it so that way you don't have to have that stuck there make sure it's not appearing anywhere else in our image there we go because that can be a, a little bit of a pain if uh, you forget about that and move on and step away so that way the history states the warp uh, scrolls through and away from the history so anyways once that's taken care of you're all good, and you can use this same you know, this uh, look of uh, the warp tool in the smaller areas. Let me move this, make this image smaller. Let's say, for example, this arm's just a little big for your taste. What you can do is make a selection of the arm. Go back to the warp tool and skinny it on up. I did not do a very good job selecting so let me make a bigger selection so we have a bit of more area to work with transform and then warp and then shift that up and this down maybe not so much like that like this hit enter wait until the computer works for a little bit and that basically does it as you can see this elbow is sticking up a little bit high and we can kind of finish that off with another quick one here oops 
Whoa, my selection disappeared. Okay, let's do this over again. All right, so I'll drag that one down and this one back up and hit enter. And that pretty much gets rid of that problem, although it created that little bit of stretchiness that I can fix with the history brush. But that's basically how the warp tool is used.